You ready, Sam? I am ready. Cool. We'll probably just include this stupid shit in the beginning anyway. Like yeah. we did last time. I like to I like a <laughs> clip a little bit. <laughs> little, yeah, a little yeah. tiny clip for him. Yeah. All right, guys. What's up? Welcome to a Mildly Appropriate Podcast. Uh, we're back with episode two. We were going to say episode three of the Munch Pack, but it's actually episode two because the other video didn't It's long turn. gone. Yeah, it's, it's, it's long gone. It's, it's so away. Forget about it. It's on another computer. Right. Um, start off, I just want to say fuck Sean, right. our old editor, and fuck Danny, our old uh, person on the pod, co- co-host. There you go. Actually, not fuck them. I'm kidding. Yeah. Danny will be back. Um, he's guys. really sick. Hopefully, you get better, Danny. We're going to hear all about his Spain trip in the next podcast. Yep. Also, Sean- His sleep schedule's all goofed, yeah. and- he ended up badly timing when he would get here. So not he, happy about that. He fell asleep. He needed to catch up on some Z's. So yeah. So today we have the twenty snack munch pack. We promised one. this coming. We have another editor. Our five hundredth editor yeah, by yeah. now. I think, we have I think actually our third brand new editor. Nick. We actually brought him up before. He Nicholas. is my uh, coworker. So he's a man. Decided to fill in, help us out a little bit. So he'll be tasting all the snacks with us and just giving his thoughts. We got a big one here today. Yep. You excited? I'm very excited. I think like, okay, so just from looks already, I think this set of snacks is way more appealing than the last oh, one. Oh, yeah. Colors-wise, not so much, though. No. The not. wrappers are nice. Right. Um, also, I want to show you guys the camera view we have now as our snack camera view. So you're going to see my hand. Ooh. Uh, we're going to get right into that uh, on the first snack. So I think actually we might start with the drink. You want to do that? Yeah, Just well, to get cold. it over with? All right. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna start with our drink. Uh, where is this drink? Oh, it's, the can. Oh, oh no. no! Just go right in. <laughs> well, quick. Yeah, yeah, grab this can back. We're back. Um, all right, so we got the can. Lemon soda. It's looking all right. I think the can itself is it's, pretty. It's dope. a little zoomed in. Um, the other snacks look a lot better. It's because it's a round can. Yeah. But yeah, the lemon soda. It's like it a. That it's, it's almost like a matte black can. It's pretty dope. It looks, yeah, it looks sick. It's from Italy, so. All right. Let's, let's try get right it. into it, dude. It's cold. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm into it. Yeah, me too. It's like bubbly lemonade. What do you think, Nick? It's good. It almost tastes like alcohol at first. Yeah. Ooh. It kind of I kind of expected oh, yeah. it to be like spiked. Dude, you this know? would be a really good mixer, wouldn't it? Mm. You are definitely right. If only we had more. Right. <laughs> it's all no, out. Rip. It's all gone. It does kind of taste like it could be alcoholic. That's though. pretty good. Oh. I like it. Way better than that grape juice. Oh, fuck that grape juice compared to this. Ugh. All right, let's put this over here. This, yeah. I mean, we're not rating that really, but nah, yeah. we'll get into that. We could also write on this booklet and show. Oh, shit, yeah. Later. We'll, we can we'll keep track of them. All right, so first snack we have is um, fruit pastels. Yeah. All right, and um, it's from United Kingdom. So I'm going to show you this. In the... There you go. They're like little hard candies, right? Yeah, hard candies. They look a little different than I expected, honestly. Where did um, they go? Oh, is it the, like I'm the... I'm going to show you right here. Are they the really small? Well. Are they the small, dense ones? Yeah. See that? So, yeah, dense. you want to get right into that one? Yeah, let's right. go. Oh, it's gummy. Yeah, it's what chill. the fuck? Hmm. Not my favorite thing. I don't know. It's just kind of like a really hard, chewy candy. It just sucks. Yeah, it does kind of suck. It tastes like something grandma would give me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a grape one. Kind of just like. Or one of those things you find at like Japanese restaurants, little candies. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Not my favorite. Mm-mm. Kind of mm. blah. Yeah, nothing special. More lemonade. Mm. Yeah, rinse it down with that. Mm. All right. It's kind of like, I wish it were more sour. I wish it was something. Yeah. <laughs> it was just bland. It's kind of blah. What's your rating? Dude, that's like a that's like a four, I'd say. That's not bad. I mean, I could eat, tolerate it, but like. Yeah, I could eat if I had to. Um, but I wouldn't eat it again. I'd say three. Dad missed Danny. Me too. Fuck, man. We need just, his. We need his epic reactions for like. All I, know, the, I feel the so crazy, bad. He's like. So he just treats. got back from his long trip and he got really sick. So. It is what it, it is. It probably yeah. It probably also isn't a good idea for him to be like eating talking a, a lot food. and then eating a bunch of junk food. <laughs> yeah, from random places that we have no idea where they came from. Right. I trust you, Munchback. I trust you. All right, let's get the next one. Um, we have. Uh, Olker, Sizzy Vic cheese crackers. That was good. That was pretty good. Nice job. You think that's what it is? Ah. Fuck if I know, but it's it exported to 26 good. countries. Um, it's from Turkey. Has a delicious cheese filling. Well, that's opinionated. That's debatable. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. Is it the is cracker? No, oh. it's the cracker. You're like, oh yeah. A little cracker, yeah. All right, let's try. All right. A little crummy. That's good though. Yeah, it's just like those cheese crackers you buy at, like the grocery store. Yeah, but even fresher, I think. Yeah. Very the biscuit cool. is like not stale. Yeah. I like it's it. good. I'm going to finish it. 
Yeah, I'm not, but <laughs> it's okay. I don't really like the cheese crackers to begin with, but it tastes like I'm more of a, I'm more of the peanut butter guy, you know. Yeah. Those peanut butter crackers. Ooh. What are you gonna say, Nick? Nick, what do you think? It tastes like the craft ones they sell in the store. Hmm. Just a better cracker. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, just like a better cracker. Along with That's that. It. This is this tastes like alcohol, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say eight out of ten. Whoa, eight out of ten. Really? That's I a just high. Love cheese, so. okay, fair <laughs> I love cheese too, but I'm gonna not, say not dry cheese. Like. A seven. That was pretty good. I'll go five. Oh, all right. Not huge on. Fair enough. All right, this next one I'm pretty excited for. Oh, right. They look like little, uh, like what are those puffs you buy from like the market that are cold? I don't know what they're called. They have a little uh, cream fill in it. Cream puffs. Cream puffs, yeah, that's easy. Right. Um, these are like chocolate cream puffs. Remember that's like exactly, that? except they're not Except for cold not cold, yeah. But they have like the same feel, soft. don't they? Yeah, they're, they're like little, little biscuits. Soft. Try it, squeeze on a little. Oh. Yeah. All right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I almost crushed it. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, let's try Oh, them. let me show you this one. We're trying them. Oh, okay. But yeah, don't forget to show them on the camera. Oh. Yeah. That was softer than I thought. Told you. I don't think I like it. Home <laughs> run ball. The Home chocolate. run ball. It's like a fake eclair. Yeah. Home Put run it. balls from South Korea. Um, Shout out chocolate Ryan. Chocolate in a snack is always a home run. That's what it says. Wow. I like the enthusiasm there. Shout out Ryan. I see oh, you yeah. out there. Oh, our, our friend Ryan is uh, in the military. He's in South Korea. So He's stationed out there. Stay safe, man. Um, Get some home run balls. Yeah. Uh, don't think you're playing baseball. You can probably but. find these out there. Probably. They're, probably just, they're not that good, though. No. They're like very... The puff part is like almost like it's stale. Yeah, it fucks it up. I don't know why I keep eating them. I like the chocolate part a yeah, lot. Yeah, chocolate's good. Chocolate's really good. Weird. Your rating? All right, this one I'm not excited for. Your yeah, rating? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, seven out six? of ten. It was six. Six? I was Dude, this is a high six. rater. This, this kid's a high rater. Yeah, right he's here. he's easily uh, appealed. I, I guess like so. Food. I say six. I like I say, food. I say six. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, six as All well. All right, fair enough. Potato fries. These look like ketchup fries. Oh, tomato ketchup. That's what it says at the top. Let's see where we can find these Let's in our actual nice handy booklet. Um, Oishi potato fries. You don't need to yell at me. Sorry, it's just my roots. I have to say it like that. All right, fair enough. Um, Philippines, baked potato sticks in the shape of French fries with a real tomato ketchup flavor. Enjoy the taste of savory French fries with none of the mess. I feel like they're still really messy. They look kind of messy. <laughs> the bag's like disgusting. We should definitely call them up and be like, "Hey, yeah, you should false advertise." These are kind of messy. Yeah, false advertise. Are right, you ready? Yeah, we're suing them. <laughs> I hate ketchup flavored things. I like ketchup, but ugh. It is a very large hot fry flavored as ketchup. Way too much ketchup flavor. No? It was all right. No. Not my stuff. Like yeah. Out of a yeah, no. No, no, no. Okay, what are your thoughts, boys? Um I was kind of expecting oh, something, I didn't show this one, did something I? like a spicier Mexican flavor maybe, but it's really just like straight ketchup, like kind potato of tomato. Potato fries. There's the ketchup at the top, and then I'll show you the little thing itself. This looks like a normal hot fry almost. See that? But it tastes like it was sitting in the diner ketchup bottle all day. Oh, yeah. dude, yeah, soaked, soaked, uh, almost wet. I'm gonna say a five. I'm gonna go four. Not not happy so far, boys. Right, right. Three and a we half. got some rough snacks in the first four. Yeah. Still fun though. Still what fun. You, sorry, what was your rating, Nick? Three and a half. Three and a half. Yikes. Wow. All right, this one should kind of bring our hopes up a little bit. I think. Right. We got drumsticks. It looks um, like a Starburst. Let me get this up for you. Drumstick. Hey. Nice colorful thing. Let's see. Uh, got our little description about it. So we have uh, swizzles, refreshers, or drumsticks. So the drumstick chew is the ones we got. They're from the United Kingdom. Extra chewy candies, candies in either lemon or milk. Wait, what? Lemon or milk? In either lemon or milk. Raspberry flavors. That's, I swear to God it says that. Is that one flavor or three flavors? Extra chewy candy is either lemon or milk. I swear to God it says that. I think that. I got that the milk one. That must be a typo. Oh, no. All right, let's try them. <laughs> or milk. I think I got the milk I'll one. I'll wait for you to I think I got the milk one, boys. It's white. Dude, mine's got a pink stripe, so I think it's the raspberry. Mine has a pink stripe as well. Oh. Maybe it has we got, milk around it? Maybe we got the raspberry milk flavor. <laughs> raspberry milk. That's exactly Hopefully what it's mean. not like the milk you got earlier. Oh, okay. right, right. The you got a expired milk today. I didn't. Okay, it's not expired. It expires today. He's got some time. No, it's very soft. Um, it. No. It's getting no. worse. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, no, it's nice. Huh. Didn't it get a little worse? No. I thought it just got bland. Mm. 
the flavor did kind of die out. Yeah. I wish it was a little fast. more raspberry e. Mm -hmm. You know. I taste the milk. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't. Just taste. See what I mean, Nick? Yeah, yeah, no, it, it tastes tastes like, like milk with a can of raspberry. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. This lemon stuff really nice. You're lucky you got so much, bro. <laughs> Why'd you get the big cup? Can we have more? Why'd you get the big cup? You tried chugged it, bro. I didn't chug it. I left it for a little bit for later. Oh, you still have more left. Yeah. Look how much I have left. I have nothing. You have more than me. You have a large cup, and look where it was filled up. You can see like by here. how- here. So I- Oh, I forgot to show it anyway. <laughs> The whole point of the clear one was to show it on the camera. Oh, it's got pulp in it. Does it's it really? This I mean, you can, still, you can still show them. What has pulp in it? Those, uh, you it's can just, see like the lemon. There's like, oh, shit. It's just, it's just yellow. That's probably why it's so it's lemony. Tell. It's really good. Yeah, it just looks like cloudy lemonade, to be All honest. All right. Grading? Uh, five. Sticking with a five. I don't think I've had anything over a six so far. No, yeah. It's kind of kind of been pretty mediocre. All right. I'm excited for these now. I feel like I'm saying I'm excited for every single one, and then they just... Well, the whole pack, hunting. to be fair, is very exciting. Oh, yeah. For sure. It's an exciting stuff. I, for one, am not excited about sesame sticks. No. We're not on sesame. Oh, we are on sesame sticks. Yeah. They look oh, kind of shitty. Yeah. Wait. These aren't the sticks. These are the um, little balls. Oh. These like rice balls. It looks like a hash God. brown. This looks like a little, bit, little hash brown, everyone. Um, they, smell, they smell pretty strong. They look a little weird to me. Mm. They're called a one one golden rice cracker chicken flavor. One one chicken flavor. That's what I smelled earlier. Oh. Um, Taiwan. Check those out. Pretty cool packaging. Let's All see. right, you ready? Give them a nice little one point for the packaging. Let's so try them out. You know what? Different. I gotta eat more to know. It's almost like a cracker jack, isn't it? It's just like a Cracker Jack. Like cracker Jack. There's a little, little less flavor of sweetness. It's a. Di it's got like garlic. Yeah, it's weird. I must spill my drink. <laughs> what do you think, Nick? It's kind of sweet and salty. I like it. I don't like it and I don't hate it. Yeah, I got like, a hint of I'm garlic. Gonna I'm going to stick with a six still. Not bad. Not great. I don't think I'll finish them, but. Five. It's going to make my <laughs> breath smell bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> He's <laughs> choking already. <laughs> I'm gonna say a four. I'm excited for Danny's stories for his band, dude. Oh yeah, true. I hope he just goes all out, ruthless. Because yeah. apparently it was a rough, rough trip. There were rough parts. Yeah. Th I'm, I'm we sure also got fun. a perspective from your brother, who that's true. Doesn't he's... enjoy many things in life as <laughs> it is. So he's a Debbie Donner. I'll it's a little, you. it's a little skewed. He's a nice young man, but some of our friends had a very good time. So that's good. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you think? This Six? one. I gave it a four. Really? Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> you seem to be thinking about it for a while though. Five at the most. Wow, um, yeah. the lowest. That's that's unusual. Six, I'm not normally yeah. the lowest yeah, voter. Usually, yeah, that's oh, no, the, the milk candies was a two. Really? So, you didn't say that. They're two. No, because I didn't get a chance. They're gross. <laughs> that bad, huh? They're all right. I, I definitely wouldn't eat them again, but they weren't anything special. Yeah, I'm not enjoying it so far. Anything really? Nope. I, I mean, like, I I, I shouldn't say I haven't like disliked anything. Where anything like hits my mouth, oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I yeah, can't yeah, eat any more of this. I have a feeling the croissant might be in that realm. It looks good. I don't know what you're talking about. I wanted to spit out the candy, but we made the rule we can't. Right. Ugh, All right, let's move yeah. on. Let's All right, we're on to these little orange treats. These are... Dre's... A Pax? Yeah, good luck with that. I tried reading those earlier. Orange yogurt draggies. 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 Um, a crisp orange-flavored outer shell surrounds a soft yogurt chew to create a truly dreamy, dreamsicle flavor. These are Damn. a must-try for anyone with a sweet tooth. I'm hyped. Thank you, Poland. Damn. Poland, that's a big, that's a big thing there. You, you're really going crazy with that description. So you this better be good. I'm, oh, I'm ready. I'm gonna eat two. Weird. Ugh. Oh no. Ugh. Oh no. Not bad. <laughs> Ugh. Oh no. Uh oh. He can't get it down. Ew. Oh, no. Rinse it down with that rubber straw sponsored by Munchpack. The Munchpack rubber straw. I'll show you on camera, boys. Why use plastic straws that get stuck in sea turtles' noses exactly. and kill sea turtles Let's out there? Let's see on the camera. When you can use a rubber straw that never gets thrown out. And it says Munchpack. Thank you, Munchpack, for my free surprise. Get stuck in that That's cabinet. what they call it. When the loyal customers, they throw in a free surprise of their mer merchandise. Well, I love free, and I love surprises. I take that back. I'm not sure how I feel about surprises. We're going to surprise you every episode now with something crazy. All right. Fair enough. Are and I'm, sure? I'm going to make sure that every single time I top myself. Are you sure that you're all right with those creamsicles? They were disgusting. Flavors? They were disgusting. What's the rating? I'm going to give it a, a two. 
three. Four. Makes like I'm giving nine. <laughs> All right. I so far, three we seem to be going downhill here. Yeah, that, that looked good. It looked like a, a sweet tart. You know those chewy sweet yes, tarts? Yes, that's exactly what it looks like. Did I show it on camera? I don't think I did. I kind of did, but you, show them the close-up. Make sure you show them the actual, like, treat itself. Sweet tart. It looks like a chewy sweet tart, and it sucks. Do you show them the little candy? Yeah. Okay. Cool. It, like, I love chewy sweet tarts, so I was really excited for this snack. It just kind of broke apart. If it, like, stayed together, oh, it just, maybe, it, oh, it just, like, God. it turned it just, into, like, chalk. Uh, no. Um, nope. I think these are going to be good. No bueno. All right, let's move on. Oh, yeah, onto the chips. Oh, shit. Do I, I have these? I don't think we poured the chips out. Let's pour some chips let's out. Let's pour some chips. Nick, we need some chips for you, okay? The one snack that's good we only fucking put on our plate. Let's give us some chips. Thank you. Damn. Ooh. I got some good stuff to talk Just about. Just keep next, those over there, Nick. Next podcast, dude, I have some good stuff to talk about. Oh, yeah? Some more, more work things. He knows the craziness of work. Uh, a lot of crazy customers. It's always hectic. Yeah. Car dealerships are interesting. Yep. Old people suck. Uh, I mean, I love you old people out there, part. but like, you should, some, of you, some of you should not be driving. I'm sorry. <laughs> some of you should not be driving. Let's save, that for the, let's save that for the full podcast because yeah, sure. I honestly could rant at old people driving. Oh, for sure. That, for we will rant. We okay, will rant. Cool, cool. Stay tuned. Let's try these chips. Okay, let's do it. They're like kettle toast? Bomb. These are great. Yeah, they're good. I totally be good. I don't even. I'm not even a huge fan of mustard, and these are really good. I don't. I don't know if mustard. Let me show it on the podcast. Oh, on the screen. I'll grab it. A, a picture. More. I honestly love these descriptions, dude. What they're giving us? Miss Vicky's honey kettle chips. Oh, kettle right. cooked potato chips with a balanced combination of sweet honey and delicate savory Dijon mustard flavor Dijon. in every crunchy bite. What is it? Dijon. Dijon. All right. Yeah, okay. my uh, pronunciation isn't the best. Where do they say they're from? They're from Canada. Oh, not okay. far. I'm going I was going to say, they taste super American. Love you, brothers. They taste what? Super American? Super American. Just tastes like a regular kettle chip. They're like it's... a knockoff America, aren't they? Right. <laughs> <laughs> love you guys. We love um, you, Canada. We're just better. What's your, what's your rating? I get an eight. Seven or eight. I'm going to say six. I'll say, I'll, say, I'll say a seven. I'll say a seven. That's fair enough. I'm going to be an eight. An eight? They're all right, but like I don't know. Even if it were a regular kettle chip that I normally eat, you were excited for this one. I don't know, dude. These look. I think I would prefer a different flavor. The next thing we have, um, I don't know. I think you're really hyped. They're from Japan. Chocolate starfish from Japan. Japan usually has some good snacks. Yeah. Let's uh, check this out on the camera here. They look like little stars. I'm gonna show you. Grab mine real quick. Uh, the cool star. It's impossible to see on the large cam, so I'm gonna stop looking retarded. R word. <laughs> TikTok. R word. Sorry, my bad. TikTok, dude. My bad. Or goofy. Did you guys oh, play I, these chocolate starfishes? I, I I did. I have a great story for you. So <laughs> there was someone trying to refer to someone as transgender, and instead of just saying they were transgender, the person goes, you know, they were goofy. I'm like, what? I'm like, who <laughs> says that, bro? It was the, he was like probably like 50 years old. I'm like, that was the weirdest way to. Explain. That's He's like a, the hardest so, way to describe it. Too. It's like he was goofy. Were, like, like, like we didn't know what he was right. saying until he later said that transgender. He was like, like, oh yeah, you know, they're like goofy. I'm like, what goofy. I'm like, what silly? Like are they like fu like weird? It's kind of retarded. R word. <laughs> TikTok. Oh, I gotta get into this habit. TikTok. Come on, man. But yeah, how funny! I was cracking up when I heard him say that. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's dumb. Yeah, very stupid. All right, let's try him. Different generation. Hmm. Is it weird? Oh, right. I kind of like it. It oh. tastes like a cold cocoa puff. You know what? It, I was thinking it should be a fucking cereal. Yeah. Cocoa puffs. That's Dude, literally it. We need to put this shit in milk. It tastes, it tastes like, like the, the Oreo, Oreo cereal. Have you ever had Oreo cereal? It's that's upstairs. Exactly what it, that's exactly what it tastes like. Just it better. doesn't. The initial taste is not good. It's close, but the initial taste is like not good. It's just weird. It's like the soft. It's like a soft. It tastes like cereal. It yeah, cereal. it literally should. It needs milk. No, it tastes like a, a soggy cocoa puff. Yeah, which a lot of people like. Yeah. Cocoa puffs are a good it's cereal. It's pretty good. I'm gonna say. Yo, favorite cereal on the spot. Life. Really? Yeah. Cinnamon life or regular life? Regular life. You're a fucking pussy. Rice Krispie not. treat cereal. What is that? It's Rice Krispies covered in marshmallows. Didn't know that. Yeah, they make. I've it. Never it's heard amazing. of that. That's crazy. See, I would sound basic by saying cinnamon toast crunch, but guess yeah. what? My favorite is s'mores. Really? S'more cereal is bomb. It's it's a mix between either or honeycomb. Sorry, fuck, I can't. Regular honeycomb. original Cheerios or Life. Everyone who loves honeycombs just knows that they're the best. All of it. 
I had Captain Crunch all berries, Cap- regular, nah, Captain I like regular Captain Crunch. I like regular Captain, Captain Crunch. Crunch cuts you off. It yeah, does, it does cut you off. I fuck with it. I wonder how that hasn't been fixed yet. They do it intentionally. What? So you know how, like... Why would they piss people off intentionally? You know how it, with dip, they put fiberglass in your gums so that it cuts and it goes right into your bloodstream? Didn't know that. Well, now you do. Now you've been filled in. Fiberglass? Yeah, really? little tiny bits That's to, not like, healthy. cut your gums. <laughs> That's what they're doing with Captain Crunch, bro. They're putting fiberglass in the gum. No, 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 no. It's, it's Fuck these kids, The dude. cereal texture just cuts up your gums so the nah. sugar hits your bloodstream it's real fi- fast. It's fiberglass. It's just to kill the kids. Nope. Okay. It's definitely <laughs> on, just that sugar the, rush. On to the next snack. All right, moving um, on. We, the- uh, s- six. Yeah, I think I said six. Six. Seven. I really think the best thing is going to be the last snack is going to be the, like a ten. It fucking better be. Yeah, I'm interested. All um, right. All right, we're on uh, qua- Quavers. Quavers, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's this description show you on the camera first. They legit look like the other one. They look like puffed out Fritos. Like they look like puffy, less Fritos. colorful puffed out Fritos. Um, right. The ultimate British crisp. That's delicious, light, puffy, crunchy, and cheesy all at once. Fun fact: just like Lay's, Walkers has run. Walkers has run. Do us a flavor promotion in the past. That okay. Sounds weird. Um, and it's from the United Kingdom. All right, let's try it. All right, let's do it. Cheesy. Interested. It's all right. I'm fine with it. Tastes like a rice cracker. Yeah, kind of. I think that's what it is. I'm not trying to be healthy. They just grabbed the rice cracker out of the bag and put it in something else. And they covered it in cheese United powder. Kingdom? I'm a no. That's a no for me. Mm. Honestly. This does look like semen. Yeah. How would you not just throw that out of context? <laughs> nice job. We'll talk about when we get there. Uh, actually, it's the next snack. So I think... I think I'm going to give it a six again. Yeah. Six as well, dude. Yeah. A lot of normal stuff going on. Yeah, super average box so far. Very not mediocre. Crazy, not crazy. I think the average lot, rating, a lot left, though. The average made it, rating is literally a five. Yeah, that's average. Very average. All right, next on to the semen snack. Right. Um, <laughs> could you – all right. Could you, like, elaborate as to why we're all on this page? All right, so – got to show them the cookie Rip itself. Rip waffles, European snack. It's a little cookie kind of thing, and I'm going to show you what I mean by – the semen snack. Because I'm, I'm not sure if the camera's high quality enough for yeah. you guys to see this, but it it glistens. Show, shine your phone camera on it. See if that helps my at phone, all. My phone's not on me. Oh, oh well. You can see a little bit there. Can you? Tiny bit. So pretty much it's this cookies and cream flavored, and it looks like just the cookie, the cream flavor is just clear. So it looks like uh, semen. So that's how Sam explained it's it. It's just semen between two cookies. Yeah. Another one from Canada. Uh, Stroop waffles are made of a layer of syrup between two wafers and usually enjoyed over hot coffee or tea. Um, indulge in a new version of milk and cookies with this decadent flavor. Of course, can. It's got a little bend to it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, let's try it. Strange. That's honey in it, so. No, I think that's the maple syrup. Oh, so I meant. There's maple syrup? Yeah, yeah, he said, said syrup. It's Canada. Canada. Yeah, uh, syrup. that makes sense. It's kind of good. At first, it's yeah, I thought it was really bad. I, I definitely see why they need coffee or tea. Yeah, coffee would be great with this. this. Oh wow. What? It's like stringy. Oh. Yeah. I'll go up. Another six. Five. Really? I'm gonna say a three. Really? Yeah, it's, it's kind of bad. I liked it. Yeah, or coffee or just literally anything, honestly. I can see how it's liked though. Interesting. Rip Vaughn, semen snack. Pretty meh. Yeah. That's not the best. Classic meh. All right. We have um, a big one coming up. Right. So do you want to take the pause now and go microwave our snacks? I was going to do these. I'll do them at the end. Okay. All right. So Chris, the Chris croissant with caramel in it, or caramel, however the fuck you guys want to say it. I don't want to hear any argument in your comments. Caramel. As we get any comments anyway. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Please leave (laughs) comments. Drop us a comment. I know you're out there, Kev. (laughs) <laughs> Kev, yeah, fucking roast me about some dumb shit. Hey, hey. Uh, I'm kidding. I like your comments. He's a supporter. Oh, for sure. Um, if you're craving a tasty caramel-filled croissant, no need to go to your local bakery. This fluffy, flaky croissant is packed with both buttery flavor on the outside and sweet creaminess on the inside. Poland. Another Poland snack. Polish. Last- Poland, Poland is killing it. Poland. Polish. Oh, well, yeah. Polish, Polish snack. snack. Yeah. Okay, fuck you, Kevin. It's a Poland. <laughs> now I'm overthinking everything. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's do it. I'm not excited for this. Wait, wait. Lie. So qu- before we munch in, are we going for a horizontal approach? 
I'm putting How half are you the thing in my hammer? mouth and fight. So look, are we Troy? Are you going this way? Hello. What? Are we going this way? Or are we going this way? Bite wise. Oh, um, I'm gonna do like a corn, like a side thing. Get a little cream. Get a little bread. You know. All right, then fuck it. I'm just going all in. All right. Hmm. Softer than I expected. Tastes it's like Dunkin' like Donuts. Donuts. It's pretty it good. It does taste like Dunkin' Donuts. Which is not terrible. I mean, it's kind of terrible, but like... It's surprisingly good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I figured that a croissant coming in a bag like that... Oh my god, it sketched me would out. Would be like kind of stale. It sketched stale. me out. Really sketched me but out. But I guess the bag keeps it fresh, you know? I guess. I mean, it's so weird. Import industry to Brooklyn Imports. Honestly, that might be my favorite one yet. Yeah, I mean, it's not fair. I'll give it a seven. Yeah, I'm gonna say seven too. I'm, it's not, I'm not gonna go as far as eight, but nice seven. Nick's currently stealing the last piece of the. <laughs> <laughs> Nick ran over for the last piece. I think it's six, six and a half. half. Six he'll, and a half. He'll, ta he'll taste test to make sure. Yeah, he let me hear. Let me see if the half changes from the last piece. Right. We also uh, don't do half ratings. That oh, has sure. been a rule of ours. Yeah. Oh. Fuck you, Nick. Six. All right. Okay. I like the croissant. I don't really like the cream. All right, this next one definitely not going to be anything special. We have uh, sesame sticks. Oh uh, yeah, I, I I've had a feeling that these are not going to be good. It looks just like a a nice pretzel rod. stick with just fucking a, sesame a stick rod, seeds yeah, on it. Yeah, yep, just That's bread. It. Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> good crunch. Yeah, I kind of like the crunch. I'm not a fan of sesame flavor. Really? Yep. It's the aftertaste where it like sits in your mouth a little bit, you know. I'm about it. Tastes, tastes like an like everything, everything bagel. bagel. Yeah, it's good. Well, it probably tastes like a sesame bagel. Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> we gotta like clip that. Nope, nope I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you taste it, like in your mouth, you're still chewing. <laughs> um. I finished my lemon drink. I need some dip for this. What, like uh, ranch dip or something? French, French onion dip. I thought, you, I thought we were going yeah, back to tobacco. I agree with that. Fucking chews and shit. Yeah. No. I was like yeah. more oh, of yeah, fiberglass. I need a pack of lip for this I one. I need some fiberglass in my mouth. That look like the vibes in the way. Um, all right, uh, what do you guys think? Sam's at like a one. My know. biased opinion is it's a three. Okay, about a six. Like a five, five would be better, better with some dip. dip. For sure? Yeah. All right, with, this next one. We with have dip, it goes up. Oh, wait, let me read the description just because I think it's great. These oh, right, right. These are, these are good. Munchback, you do a good job. Shout out to you guys. They really sell it. Don't sponsor us. Please sponsor us? What? Sponsor us. Sorry. Please what? sponsor us. That's what I meant to say. That Cracker sticks loaded with toasted sesame seeds for double the crunch with a hint of salt. This is the ideal snack if you're craving something light and savory on the go. Which ones are these? Turkey. Hmm? Which ones are these? The Old Kirk Clip Sesame Crackers. These. Oh, we're not. I was reading the old description. Oh, like that oh, one. Oh. Yeah, I didn't go to the next ones. The next one. Let's find that description. That's going to be fun. Uh, Hawaiian Punch Candy oh, Jellies. Yeah. Candy From jellies. the USA. Woo! Yeah, you heard that, Canada. Yeah. Um, fruit Juicy Red. Orange Ocean Lemon Berry Squeeze. Green Berry Rush and Berry Blue Typhoon. Hey, we gotta put a beat behind. No matter that. which flavor is your jam, you'll be satisfied with these chewy jelly. I'm a little candies. upset there was no blue though. There's no blue. No. That's kind of. I'm gonna go with the red. You got the green. You do you have red. I got red. You wanna take my orange so we can all have different colors? Nice catch, buddy. All right. You ready? Yep. That's really good. That literally tastes like you drank some flying punch. Yeah, yeah this is really good. That's good. That's awesome. That's a good gummy. Whoa. <laughs> Here, want to try my red one? Yeah. We suck. Yeah, the red one might be better. Even wow. Mm, red's really good. Dude, green was really. I good. It tastes like a wine punch. I is agree. that all of them? Uh, there's a couple more over there. We'll have some later. Yeah. yeah no one else is getting those free. <laughs> is there any blue? There's, there's no blue, right? No, it's just red. That blue would be fire. That was great. That's fucking good, yeah. That was great. Do you guys drink a lot of wine punch ever? I never really got into no, it. No, honestly, no. Maybe some reds every once in a while. Flavored candy, sure. But never like straight up wine punch. I wasn't allowed sugar. Whoa. Really? No. Okay, that's a different story. Water, let's hear water. Let's hear now about that. A lot of water. No soda. You definitely Less drink a lot of soda now, don't you? No, yeah, just water. Wow. Really? That's, that's like why me. I don't like I don't I hate Coke, because I was never allowed to drink Coke. I love Coke. I shouldn't say I I really like soda. I just have trained myself not to drink it. See, for me, it's like an on and off thing. Like I, have, I don't have addictive personality, but with soda, sometimes I just go on like a tear. I mean, it's addictive, period. Well, yeah, but I'm saying like I, my personality is I can just stop whatever. And soda, sometimes I'm just like, eh, I'm gonna go on like a two week binge of just drinking soda. When you're walking over Luke Oil, 10 a.m. to get some soda, yeah. I don't do that. I've been 10 a.m. It was early. 
maybe one time. Court, uh, Courtney. Courtney comes in with a with soda, soda at 7 in the morning. That's disgusting. Or 8. 8 in the morning. Still, that's that's a lot. That's, that's way that's too That's a lot early. of soda. Mm. Yeah. That's like right after you fucking brush your teeth. That's a lot of soda. I don't think that's good for you. Is the call. Also, I mean, I would do it, but remember, I don't want to. We have Sean, who probably drinks more soda than anyone Ooh, I know. Oh, yeah, Sean drinks fuck tons of soda. It's a lot of soda. He drinks, he'll drink, like, probably a case in, like, three days, Ooh. probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, easily. And, and if, you want, if he's like, trying, if he's trying, he'll say, a case in a day. Yeah, if yeah. he's trying. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's like a pack a day of cigs, but for fucking soda. Right. Root beer is the best soda. Have you ever uh, tried a cigarette? Have I tried a cigarette? I've smoked tobacco, but it wasn't a cigarette. Nick? I don't think I've tried Only a genuine hookah. cigarette. The closest I've Never tried a cigarette oh, either. Hookah. I've tried hookah. That counts too. Never done hookah or a cigarette. Oh. I've done like vapes. Yeah, I was going to say, haven't you tried a jewel? I've tried a jewel. Actually, I've tried a jewel one time and I've tried a, like mods like multiple times. Yeah. Like parties and shit. Yeah, those are nice. It. Those are way easier than fucking. Yeah, I don't fuck with cigs. any of it now though, especially with the whole thing going on. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, big. we'll talk about that yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, we'll get into that. Catch us on the next podcast. Yeah. Uh, Final rating on the gummies. Eight? Eight. Ah. Uh, I was stuck between an eight and a nine. Really? Those were fucking Happy with great. That. Solid nine. I think I'm gonna give it the eight, just because I. Ah. Uh, Honestly, it. the fuck description. It. The description may be a nine. I'll, that's I'll a give fucking, it nine. That's a rapper description. I'm gonna yeah, go with the crazy. nine. I was pretty blown away. That description was bomb. Not gonna lie. It was. It was the surprise factor too. Oh, dude! Freaking chewy jelly candy. All right, read us out the uh, the burgers. Uh, okay. Um, chocolate burgers and flip those on the cam. <laughs> I'm trying to find them. I don't. I don't see the chocolate burgers in here. What kind of container was it? Oh, it was that red the box. The big red box? Yeah. Hmm. With Gosh, smiley face burgers. I think they uh, left out the burgers. Oh, well, at least show the, the viewers the the box. Oh, it might be that weird one. Oh, here it is. It's like a really terrible picture. <laughs> <laughs> like the, you barely read it either. Yummy, crunchy, adorable, and delicious wheat crackers that are shaped and look just like miniature cheeseburgers from Japan. Okay. They Here's, tried. The box looks good for compared to the fucking yeah. description. Yeah, oh, for sure. He's so happy. Every burger. All right. All right uh, I, I'm expecting something from here. Good chocolate. I think, yeah, oh, it's good. Thoughts they, on them actually putting, like, little crunchy things on the I top? I like it. The, the fake, fake sesame seeds? seeds. The mm -hmm. fake sesame seeds are, like, little crunch pops, yeah. you know? See, I like the chocolate and stuff, but I feel like we're getting a little too much just regular like crackers and chocolate like we got the Nutella things already like, I feel like I don't know it's getting a little old good though give it a 7 it's a good snack I, I, yeah, yeah I think I'm gonna give it a 7 too yeah I can I snack on that for sure 7 7 alright cool let's speed it up let's get into the next one cool. um, the wafers these little wafers Ablita Ablita De leche Abuela 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 <laughs> <laughs> What was that from uh, Family old, Guy? Yeah, yeah, good old Abuela. Uh, <laughs> She's yelling at the dog. There's a bunch of scenes with Abuela. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. No, like... Her name's um, what's her name? Fuck if I know. Fuck. Consuela. Dude. Consuela. 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 <laughs> no doggy, no. No, no doggy <laughs> outside. No, Mr. Superman. No. <laughs> so yeah, they're called Oblitas. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we've we've had sugar wafers on um, on the last month back. I'm not sure if that was episode the the hidden episode two. Or the first one either. that came out. Fucking, it's all blur now. Dolce, oh, well. Dolce de leche wafers. If wafers are just sweet sandwiches, they must be okay to eat for lunch, right? This huh. crunchy wafer sandwich is filled with sweet milk cream for the best snack lunch possible. All right. Argentina. Let's try them. Let's do it. Stale. Stale Not fuck. feeling it. Stale as fuck. The flavor. Is it though? I think it's just bad wafer. What's the flavor say on the box? De leche. Sweet milk cream. Ooh, weird. It's getting worse. It's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me. It's not that bad. I'm not a fan. I made a chip to get out of that flavor out of mouth. Okay, other than the fact that the wafers might be a little stale, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I'd go with three. I'm going to give it a five. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm going with a two. Ooh, a two. That's rough. Yeah, no. Those would be left on the table. Wow. Fucking nice ass straw. Is it? Keep it nice and cold? Oh, yeah. Keeps it good. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, fuck that snack. Fair enough. We're going to go to the knockoff uh, high chews. Right. The individually wrapped. Puchow. In, in little silver wrapping. Puchow. Let's see where we can find the description. This has to be a good one. I can feel it. Here we go. Barely read this one, too. Both from Japan, of course. 
Um, these yummy chews are addicting. Individually wrapped, and they taste just like taking a bite out of a fresh melon. Whoa. Whoa. That's fucking, that's, that's big bold. talk. That's, that's bold. Talk. Did you show the camera? No, no I suck. Yeah, oh, it's white again. Come on, man. I don't trust white, white candy. candy. You don't try I choose. Is there color on in the inside? Is it color yeah, in the middle? Bro. Yeah, it's, it's like, like yellowish. yellowish. Dude, it's a fucking high chew. Yeah, it's the same shit. Chew. Hurry up, so let's eat. Oh wow, this one's okay. All right, let's do it. Chewy like a high chew. It did taste like I just bit in melon. I don't like melon, but it tastes just like a melon. Mine's really hard to chew. I can't. Chew. That's how the high chews are. Oh, it tastes like a fucking cantaloupe. That's what they. Say. It tastes exactly like they said. I don't know what flavor mine is. Melon. They're all the same. Yeah, I can't, I can't chew, chew it though. It does like a, like a cantaloupe. Mmm, it's chewy, but I like chewy. I don't really care. I definitely give a point off for being a little too chewy, but like it's still really good. Pretty meh. Well, they usually do serving size in one pack instead of like half the pack. Right, two hundred calories for the whole thing. I feel like this is one of those snacks where they only sent us one flavor, and there are other flavors out there that are probably mm -hmm. better if you like different I flavors. Agree. Oh, it is a cantaloupe on there. Oh. Wow, nice. Dude, that was I good. fucking that was pretty that. good. Yeah. Mm. Eh, my vote or my rating is uh, a five. Cool. I'll go seven. Mm. Nothing Fair over enough. an eight so far. Yeah. No, uh, look, no, no, the gummies, remember? I had uh, an eight for that. You had an eight, I had a nine. Me eight, and Nick yeah. both had nines for oh, that. Okay. I'm going to go with a four because I don't like melon, but it tastes just like All right, it, boys. So I got to give him credit. I'm going to say, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of cantaloupe, but honestly, like flavor-wise, that was pretty impressive. All right, boys, our most hyped up snack so far, third to last snack. We have two more that we're going to have to cut for because we're going to have to microwave them. Um, very Berry Tornadoes. I'm going to get a description in a sec. First, I'm going to show you on the camera. Very Berry Tornadoes. They're kind of like those candy straws that you buy anywhere and Looks everywhere. Like yep, exactly. Um, and... Let's see what they're going to say about them. Something good. All right. Finny Tornadoes Very Berry. Licorice ropes with six berry flavors in every bite. From Spain's number one candy maker. Number These tornadoes one. are more flavorful than your average licorice. Oh, Spain again. Spain number one. That's that Romine or something? No, there we go. Maybe. Ready? Mm. Way off my fashion. Mm. See, this is what happens when you hype something up. Disappointed. I agree with him. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I expected so much more from this. What is the flavoring on the package? I expect like a sour berry. Like what the fuck were they going for? Berry berry. Plastic berry flavor. It tastes like fucking plastic. Number one candy maker. Fuck you. I'm boycotting this. Yeah, you guys fucking suck. Fuck you, Spain. Who eats candy in Spain? Uh, beautiful. Danny's going to come back and be like, yeah, fuck you, Spain. Ugh. That's fucking terrible. Damn, what a way to go out. No, we have two more. Oh, well, you have our, our microwaved... Meals. I'm nervous. Yeah, they're not really meals. They're just that tastes like shit. That was pretty bad. Two. Oh. Yeah, it's fucking two for me too. All right. Would you like to transition to our hot meal time? We'll see you guys in three, two. Fuck it. We're going now. What? Oh, you're gonna eat it now? I thought we were just gonna all eat it, like. No, we're fucking eating. All right. First is the brownie. Ugh. Well, let's try. We'll show you the packaging and stuff. It's so. We'll show you the packaging in a sec. The brownie, not that great. I'll tell you what. Those those brownies, they're kind of they're they're called like blondies, right? They're uh, That's a, not that great. Being honest. Try those cupcakes. All right, I'll try the cupcake. He's yelling at me. Mm. All right. So now we got a brownie. Got a bite of the lava cake. <laughs> Put the camera up. There you go. That's the blondie. And then the very well packaged brownie. I already ate mine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it came in like this nice, nice little cupcake thing with a little spoon and shit. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I think, okay, I'm going to say that for being little tiny microwave snacks, the brownie. The brownie dark, is definitely like the, fire for the hot lava food. cake brownie. Yeah. That's an eight. That's an eight for a lot. That's fucking that, good for a that was pretty snack. Good. Like that, I expect that at like a, like an Applebee's. Right, but then again, it's also just a regular chocolate brownie with some fudge in it. Let's read the description to see if it gets many extra points. Okay. The souffle cake. Treat yourself to a moist and chocolatey sponge cake with a rich chocolate-filled center. Unwrap and pop in the microwave and serve with a cold glass of milk. 
We didn't have milk, so we ruined the experience. We ruined the experience. Can confirm though, very moist, very chocolatey. Very moist for, for coming in that packaging. Very moist. All right, I'm Mr. Brownie Blondies. These brownies are moist. Uh, really, guys? Come on. We just fucking said that. Moist. Rich and made with real moist. Belgian chocolate chips. They're individually wrapped to help preserve freshness. Try one hot. You'll love it. Spain. Spain, you fucked up. Here's Sam. Turkey, nice job with the cake. But Spain, fuck you. Spain, you really fucking messed up this shit. The blondie brownie is like... It was okay. okay. Really? Like, like no, it's, it's not like good. Having it back-to-back back back is good. I'm going to say like a five for the blondie. And an eight for the lava cake. There's I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say a three for the blondie and an eight. eight for the fudge. Yeah, eight for the fudge and uh, four for the brownie for me. <clears throat> so, yeah, fuck Spain. Does this conclude it? This concludes our, our eating. Is there anything you want to get off your chest? Nick, thank you for coming, dude. I really appreciate you. You helped pick up the slack of the others. For sure. We had a little messy table. Let's do let's do an overall rating like we normally do on the Munch Pack as a whole. Okay. Because we got our style points and we have our flavor points. I like this whole description thing. Definitely right. cool. We should have done that before. I'm sure there was some funny ones there too. Yeah. Definitely sets it up really well. Flavor wise, cool. We had a good mix. I think. Yeah. Good mix of flavors. A lot of sweet. A lot of salty. A lot of weird shit. Um, yeah. But definitely not my favorite pack. Right. I'm I would say it was forward. it was a very average pack to be honest. Having like, 20 stacks, I'm really looking forward to the next one. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because going off a bad one, I'm sure a good one would be next. I think my rating. Flavor wise, across the whole board, probably a five. Yeah. Very, very mm-hmm. average. I'd go like, yeah, five. Because there were some, there was two really great ones that countered by the two really bad ones. Yeah. So I think next one, because I saw on the Munchpack Instagram they went to some kind of convention for like snacks yeah. in like some other countries. I think the next one's gonna be really, really good. Dope. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. What's your What's your flavor rating? A five. Yeah. Yeah. Nick. I'm gonna be an outlier and say a six. Oh, nice. Okay, not bad. And, like, creativity, flavor, variety-wise. Color, flavor. Yeah, yeah, presentation. An eight. I think they always do a good job with the yeah, color, definitely. flavor, that kind of stuff. They, they definitely, it's well thought. Right. It's well thought out. Yeah, I'm okay. going to say an eight. The burger's got to be a little less melty next time. True. Everything else wasn't, so I'm going to lie. No, everything else melted. was pretty good, like, preparation-wise. Some good taste and stuff. Nothing crazy. Yep. What were your All top right. three snacks? Oh, top three snacks. <laughs> uh, you can go top That's five. hard. I guess say... cake. Go ahead. Cake, then these gummy things, and then um, what was the stuff we said was really good? The gummies. Oh, then the Hawaiian punch, yeah. So these, like the Haichu copies, the gummies, yeah. and then uh, the, the fucking whatever I just said. I'm going to say the gummies, <laughs> the Hawaiian punch gummies, the croissant, oh, yeah. and mm, bad. probably those, those cheddar puffs, the cheddar rice puffs. Those are pretty good. Huh. All right. What about you, Nick? Definitely, Definitely Hawaiian punch. punch. Yeah. I love, I love the, the kettle, kettle chips. chips. And I forgot it's a about tie those. between the brownie and I really like that product of Italy. I love that lemon drink. All right, guys. Oh, right. True. I'm going to wrap it up. Yep. Like, comment, subscribe. Actually, don't. I don't want to tell you to subscribe. You do that if you want. Yeah, shoot um, us some comments. Let us know what you guys think. Yeah. You'll see Danny back hopefully Tuesday. We're probably going to film another podcast. Right. Hopefully, he's recovered and well. Sean will never know. Yeah, Sean, we'll never know. We'll tell you he's coming, but we don't know. True. Let's see what happens. All right, peace out, dudes. See you later, guys. Good fucking munch pack. You don't want it, Jen. You don't want me. I got nothing but bags. It's burning my eyes. I'm up in the class. The first get the brick and the worst. Go to coach. Yeah, the business is great. I've been doing the most. How did I get it? I had this. already know I've been moving so fast. I can talk on my ghost. Yeah, I back you the cookie. It's one for the cookie. The